Look, Tesla is going to hit $1,000 eventually. Unless there's another stock split, this stock is going to go straight to the moon long term. All right. In this video, I'm going to be talking about why I am so bullish on Tesla stock and why all the news and all the people saying Tesla stock is a shit company. Like, I just look at that and I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. So that's why it went up 1,000% in the past few years. Yeah, you're right. It's a shit company. Guys, let's get into Tesla stock, why I'm insanely bullish on this and why I think a lot of people have no idea what they're talking about and people really think that this stock is going to hit $100 or $50 or it's in a bubble and it's just going to crack. Like, no, no. All right, let's get right into the video. Now, guys, if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing as I do post pretty much daily videos about stocks, investing and all that sort of stuff, cryptocurrency as well. And link below, there is a link to my stock market course where you will actually be alerted every single time I buy or sell a stock. Okay, now. Tesla stock, I did recently buy, I believe it was two days ago or something, I bought a couple of shares, and I, like I'm totally fine with the stock being down, okay? So right now the stock is trading at $682, and it is down 8% of the day. And again, like this to me means nothing. Like I am literally not phased by this at all. I am someone who has been holding Tesla stock since 2018. I am sitting on fat gains. I could care less if the stock goes down back to $300, because I'm just gonna buy more. Okay, now let's talk about Tesla stock. Okay, so it did fall today because of news. So apparently, um, and I didn't even know this, and to be honest, I don't care. Tesla said that they halted production of its Model 3 at the Fremont uh, factory, which is because of a global chip shortage or something like that. Again, I'm pretty sure in a month this won't matter unless there is some, you know, shortage that goes on for a year. Okay, then I'd be concerned, but I'm pretty sure this is fine. I'm pretty sure they're just going to be halting it for a while. Um, and it even says Tesla would pay staff for February 22nd, 23rd, and you know, people were advised to take vacation time if possible. So I guess this might go on for like a week or two or whatever. Like I said, to be honest, I don't really care because everyone knows with Tesla, their problem is not demand, their problem is supply. You know, they've been going through a lot of, I guess, issues in the past where they have so much demand, but they're just literally not able to make cars fast enough, which again, kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Another thing that did recently happen and I covered in my last video is how Tesla stock was, I'm sorry, Tesla pretty much cut prices of, uh, I believe their model three, which again, like, I don't really care. Like, okay, cool. They cut prices. Like, you know, there's two ways to look at it. One, the company is desperate and they're trying to make more sales or two, they're allowing more sales to happen. Again, like if you really look into the numbers, you guys know that Tesla is not a company that is struggling for sales. Like, if a company is spending zero dollars on marketing, that says a lot. So I can probably go on for hours and hours about why Tesla stock is my favorite stock. And in fact, it's actually 50% of my portfolio. And yeah, I'm up on Tesla stock. Um, I've been buying dips and I've been buying since, like I said, 2018, and I'm going to continue to do so. Let me quickly tell you guys, you know, a few reasons, five reasons, in fact, why I'm going to continue to hold forever and ever and why I don't really care about all these short term dips and why you shouldn't care either if you are a long term investor. So first off, I want to say RoboTaxi. If you guys don't already know, RoboTaxi is pretty much something that's going to come out within the near future where you essentially can buy a Tesla. And since it is like since Tesla's can drive by themselves, you can pretty much have a fleet of cars and pretty much they're like an Uber, but you can have your car make money for you because obviously Uber has to pay an Uber driver. But if you have a car that doesn't need a driver, well, you don't really need to have any expenses other than paying for the car. Now, what happens if you finance a Tesla? For example, if you finance a Model um, 3, it's going to cost you, let's just say, $1,000 a month. I'm pretty sure if you were to have a robo taxi and it's going around and doing, you know, um, I guess like deliveries or if it's like, you know, just driving people around, let's just say for, I don't know, maybe even like a week in a month, seven days in a month, I'm pretty sure you're going to be breaking even on that $1,000 a month car payment. So pretty much you can have a Tesla for free. Not only that, you'll probably be able to profit on Teslas. Like what if you just finance like 10 Teslas under a corporation and you just have them constantly going out and making money. And like, again, these numbers are not exact. I'm not saying, you know, a thousand dollars is seven days worth of work of a robo taxi. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure these are going to be pretty profitable. One, if, freaking like Elon Musk just wants to completely make this a private thing and people can't put their own Teslas as robo taxis. That's totally fine. But if Elon just has a fleet of robo taxis, imagine how much cash flow they're going to be making. Cause then you could potentially sell the same car as well. And if there are ever, you know, I guess a, um, like a supply problem and they have more supply than demand, then they can just have these cars go and make cash flow. Okay. That's point number one. Point number two, the solar roofing business, you guys know that Tesla isn't just a car company. They have a solar roofing business, which is obviously going to be one of those industries that as time goes on, it gets more popularized and it's going to be something that is needed. You know, 
for the whole sake of sustainable energy, solar roofing is gonna be huge. Another thing is, like I said, the whole point of autonomous driving. You guys need to understand right now, it's not like every single Tesla can just drive by itself. It's not even, I guess, like approved or like there's no authorization for that yet. When that does happen, you know, it's like Elon Musk even said, it's gonna be similar to like using a horse to get around in the modern world when you have a car that can potentially drive itself, but you decide that you wanna drive yourself. Like, it just makes sense. Um, Another thing is the pricing. You know, a lot of people say, oh yeah, what about the competition? You know, all these car companies that have been around for so many years, they're starting to make electric vehicles. If you genuinely believe that, then you honestly need to go and do your own research and do and due diligence because if you did, you would know that a lot of these car companies, like for example, the Porsche that came out with an electric car, the statistics on that car has nothing compared to a Tesla, especially when you look at the price point. Every single EV that has come out has been insanely more expensive and is not even able to perform or compete against a Tesla. So again, it's like, yeah, okay, cool. Other companies are coming out with cars. One, they're way more expensive, and two, they do not have the same functionality or the same performance as the Tesla cars. You know, some of the Tesla cars are some of the fastest cars out there and they just perform much better than cars that are way more expensive. Another thing I do wanna say is the worldwide expansion. Guys, you gotta understand, Tesla is still a pretty small company. They only have a few, com a few factories around the world. Recently, they announced one in India. Do you guys know how many people are in India? I believe it's the second. Uh, is the se they had the second most populate or the second biggest population in the world, or third, or something, something like that. Um, obviously, they're expanding into China. They're expanding into much other countries, and eventually, guys, they will be worldwide. Like it's, it's like right now, they're not worldwide, and that's pretty much a huge thing to their growth. Obviously, you know where I'm from in Toronto, Canada. I see Tesla's here and there, but. I still don't think Teslas are like very, I guess, easily accessible as opposed to, you know, if you were to drive around, you'd probably see a bunch of Honda dealerships and like you don't even need a dealership for a Tesla. You can literally order a Tesla online. Honestly, guys, maybe later on this year, I'll do a YouTube video and I'll literally order a Tesla like just for the sake of it. <laughs> maybe we'll do that. Okay. If I get to like, I don't know, like something crazy, if I get to like 10,000 subscribers or like 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I'll honestly, I'll do it. We'll do a little live, we'll order a Tesla together and... I'll literally go pick it up and everything and I'll just buy a Tesla for the sake of it. <laughs> I don't know why I just thought of that. But all right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. That's why I'm bullish on Tesla. That's why I think Tesla is just one of those amazing companies. Um, like I said, at 682, this, in my opinion, is a buy. We got to remember, the stock was literally trading at like $870, you know, within the last month. Uh, we were ranging around the $800 range and yes, it is down right now and it does look kind of scary, um, especially if you did buy the top, it is kind of scary. And that's why in my stock market course, I teach people to buy the dips. Do not buy the stock when it is at its all-time high. That's something I say on my channel, something I say in my course, and something I say in my Discord down below as well. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell. And until next time, remember, stay seeking success.